So I'm here with Julian Cowan-Hill talking about tinnitus in the central nervous system. Um, Julian, I know that with many of your clients, um, you had mentioned that it comes, tinnitus comes on after a period of stress. Now, whatever the etiology, whether it's um, a noise exposure or medication, some people have the same noise exposure, don't get tinnitus. Some people have the same medication, don't get tinnitus. How would you speak to that? Well, there are various weaknesses in a, in a person's constitution. So if you give 10 people a, a similar dose of stress, um, they will all develop symptoms in different ways. So some people may get stomach ulcers, other people get migraines, other people get tinnitus and often you get tinnitus running in a family and that's a kind of like an indication that there's a slightly uh, sensitized tendency to hear tinnitus running in, it can be a generational thing. Um, so all of these things can actually change, it doesn't matter how you get it, um, certain people will react more to stress and develop tinnitus. For example, it's very common with people who are musicians or who use their ears for a living because they're already highly tuned into their hearing um, and therefore any change or any whiff of tinnitus and they're very likely to react. Whereas if you have somebody else who has their uh, a stockbroker, so they're dealing with lots of numbers and business strategies and talking to lots of people. Um, they may be very, very busy and so focused on the task uh, and the projects at hand that the last thing they're going to notice is the tinnitus because they may be quite dynamic and busy. Um, so I think the people that tend to develop tinnitus tend to be a bit sensitized in that direction already. Right, there's probably something physiologically wrong with the auditory system, but also it has come on for many of your clients after periods of acute stress mm. in dealing with difficult people. Can you speak to that just a little bit? Yes, I mean when people get divorced um, or if they work overseas and suddenly have to work in a very challenging new environment um, or their relationship runs into great difficulty and it turns out that their partner's um, very aggressive and a real bully and so they start realizing that their home is not a sanctuary it's a place where they're being um, terrorized by a predator um, you know all these various things can create very very powerful stress responses where our sense of safety is gone and there's literally a, a tiger living with us in the same house or a tiger on the other side of a court case and you know we're all incredibly sensitive and if a relationship becomes dangerous or what we thought was a safe person actually turns out to be a shark out to get us this is very disturbing um, and can create tinnitus absolutely it's it's a, a probably the most common cause of tinnitus is a layering up of stress it keeps them coming in and it piles up and one day it can be a, a small thing but it's like the straw that breaks the camel's back you know you, your system goes into overwhelm and tinnitus appears Julian thank you so much for talking to today about tinnitus in the central nervous system it makes so much sense as the main theory of tinnitus is the hyperactivity of neuronal activity that goes on in the brain to trigger it. And it just is so connected to the central nervous system, how that it is connected to the central auditory nervous system. Mm. Um, and so I really hope this interview has brought back some hope to the tinnitus community. I want to respond to that because a, a, a widely held belief is that tinnitus is caused by damaged hair cells. Um, and it's true that if you have a sudden drop in your hearing ability, then tinnitus is like a, a compensation by the nervous system to fill that void. But most tinnitus comes and goes, it changes. 
and a lot of people once they start letting go of these fixed beliefs and start to free up and they start getting better they go through periods of tinnitus really backing off and then coming back again and that's a perfect example but that's not a nerve suddenly being destroyed and then in an afternoon growing back that's not physically possible that's a hormonal, it's a neuroendocrine thing, it's a hormonal nervous change. So the, the chemistry, the soup of stress changes and that has a big effect on the reactivity of the nervous system. So, you know, it, it, I do think this reactivity of the nervous system is central to tinnitus and, you know, getting that whole part of the system to settle, it does make it better. Thank you so much, Jim. A pleasure.